Good morning, Octopus. Your English lesson today, you are looking at publishing your retail of chapter three. So first things first, I'd like you to go to your work that you've done over the past week, um, looking at your direct speech and your um, descriptive language, describing your new character, and think about which parts of that work you want to pick out and put into your retail. So you could use a highlighter or underline any essential information or some beautiful descriptive sentences that you want to take and put into your retail. Okay, now you need to think about which year four features you want to focus on. So for example, I know I'm going to use direct speech. So I want to use speech punctuated correctly. And not only does that include with our speech marks, it also includes with our commas for our reporting clause. Another feature I want to use is adverbs to indicate time. So I'll use adverbs to move on time if um, something needs uh, taking to a different scene or moving on to a different part of the story. I'll use an adverb later that day, for example. And another piece of uh, a year four feature I want to focus on, um, I might choose my spelling patterns. So I might choose that I want to use a mix of prefixes and suffixes in my writing to make sure I'm hitting those year four standards. Okay, so after you have self-marked your work and decided which elements you want to borrow for your retail, I want you to set three targets that you want to include in your retail before you start. So that's two tasks to be getting on with. Finally, thinking about what we want to include in our retail. Now you are telling this story again, so chapter three from Joe starting his new school and meeting his new friend. So everything that has happened in chapter three, you are retelling, but you are changing the character of Bob to the character you have created. OK, so you need to use chapter three and have that open in front of you. So you are following the plot in chronological order. You could have the video clip of Billionaire Boy open in front of you to help you as well. And you need to focus on your steps to success. So we are writing in the third person and the past tense. We are using adverbs and conjunctions to link our ideas. So we looked at conjunctions last week. You are using descriptive vocabulary such as adjectives, adverbs and prepositions. Again, we described our new characters last week. And you're using a range of punctuation, including inverted commas, to think about what your year four punctuation you want to include. So not only full stops and capital letters, what other types of punctuation could we use to link our ideas? Okay, so today you are publishing your retail. So I need to see a substantial piece of writing. Okay, good luck. I can't wait to see what you produce.